Hey guys, my name's Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and yesterday at the veterinary office, I removed a cutie rebrae or bot fly from a little Yorkie. Of course, if you're a little bit squeamish, please click through and don't watch it. Okay guys, so we can see a whole bunch of red inflammation swelling around the bot fly. And in the bot fly, the cutie rebrae is actually really easy to see. If you look in the middle, and you can see it's kind of wet right there, but the, it slides up to breathe and then back down again. That's his little mouth taking a big gulp of air. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little bit of pressure around and behind the bot fly. I'm able to get my fingers all the way below him. And then I'm going to put a little bit of pressure and the bot fly is going to elevate out of that hole in the sub-Q that he made. As you can see, we got the entire bot fly out. There's no tearing or damage of the bot fly, and if there was, we could cause more inflammation or even more infection if we don't take the entire bot fly out. Of course, always go see your veterinarian to remove any bot fly. We go to school for this kind of stuff, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this was crazy helpful. Today we're actually outside because I'm treating my chickens for coccidia. Yes, even veterinarians, animals get sick sometimes. But we're treating them for coccidia. If you guys have any backyard chicken questions, I would love to field them. And I would love to make a video on backyard chickens. And I probably will because I love backyard chickens and a lot of people have them. So guys, have a great week. And please like and subscribe and share this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Take care.